Hello, I'm John Harkin, ABI's Public Affairs Officer, and we are joined today by Jay Goffin, who is the Client Chairman of Tenio's Financial Advisory Business. And Jay was leading a panel at ABI's Views from the Bench here in Washington, D.C. And Jay, your panel spoke on confirmation issues. Yes. That's quite a loaded topic. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious to hear what your takeaways were from your panel. Sure. No, it's interesting. And uh, I enjoy doing the confirmation topics panel because it gives us the ability to explore what's really relevant in, in, in today's world. So what's going on in today's world is inflation. Inflation is causing prices to be higher, which is leading to the Fed increasing interest rates, frankly, for the first time in 15 years. So we're getting to a point in the cycle where debtors that have debts that are coming due are having to try to refinance their debt, and it's more difficult in today's environment. Higher interest rates and lack of credit are going to lead to more and more bankruptcies. So the question is going to be, if you can't get that credit uh, either in or outside Chapter 11, and you can't just um, afford the interest rates, can you just reinstate the debt at the prior, prior at, at, at other interest rates if the debt isn't a, or otherwise due, or can you cram it down? With, uh, so reinstating debt becomes a very important topic in today's world, as it was back in 2007, 2008. And so the topics we cover today really address those kinds of issues. You know, can you reinstate debt? What do you have to do to cure that debt? Debt? Do you have to pay? default rate interest, the uh, credit is entitled to post-petition interest. If so, at, at what rate, contract rates, uh, default, default rate, uh, state, default, state default rate, federal judgment rate. And those are the kinds of questions that they may sound esoteric, but in the real world, it matters a lot uh, in terms of what it's going to cost the debtor, and it affects their ability to reorganize. So we, we talked about a, a lot about that. We talked about subordination provisions, which also goes to the ability to cram down and what, what it means, what is unfair discrimination means in that context. And then finally, we talked about good faith, because in every case, good faith is a requirement, and I think more and more, especially as you're going to see cram down types of plans to deal with uh, the lack of credit availability, there's always going to be a challenge on good faith. And figuring out what good faith means in the context of each case will matter a lot. And so it was great hearing the judges' opinions on all those, all those uh, issues so that you, when you're thinking about how to advise a client and figure out what the right answer is, you can have the benefit of their wisdom. That Sounds like uh, you needed more than an hour, really, with all those. We needed a lot more than an hour. <laughs> and, and the judges you had yeah, on your. The, panel. the hardest point was, was was cutting judges off when you when you really don't want to because yeah. we, we only have a certain amount of time. But that's okay. We'll we'll keep doing more and more panels, and we'll 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 cover everything eventually. Absolutely. We'll update at the uh, next ABI program. Terrific. So, all right. Well, thank you very much, Jay. Really very pleasure. Much appreciated. And make sure to uh, go to abi.org slash events to find out when the next ABI program might be coming to your area.